The message to the fans is tough. I've, uh, I've learned a lot in the last couple of days about how close they are. I didn't honestly know. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm overwhelmed at the reaction of what's transpired and, and the outpouring of support I've gotten has been over the top for me. And it's probably been the shoulder I've needed through the last couple of days. Uh, I do like the fans. I, you talk to a camera and you don't necessarily see what's behind it, but I've now realized I've had a little bit of an impact in the city. So I, it's, been, it's been really good. Can you tell me just a little bit of what people have said to you? A number of people I have no idea. I didn't even know they knew I existed who have reached out through all forms of media whatsoever. And, and to see it uh, has, been, has been a little overwhelming. Uh, just random people, general managers of hockey teams, people in Russia, people in Sweden, people you know, all over the US who I, I crossed paths with but didn't really know they knew I existed. And, and to see it has been, has been kind of neat, to be honest. Any names at all we might have heard of? A couple of names, Jerry D, the famous comedian, uh, just actually reached out to us because um, there's, there's been a number of us who have been laid off. Um, there's been, I, I've dealt with a few hockey players in the past of the Mark Borowieckis, who's the salt of the earth, and Chris Weidman, Nick Foligno, Zach Smith, uh, a lot of past players, uh, Brady Kachuk. Um, you know there's a, you know you've had a little bit of an impact when they want to reach out personally to talk to you. Especially Brady Kachuk, such a young guy. Yeah, and so it meant a lot because Brady and I have chatted a lot over the last few years and to have him uh, reach out uh, did mean a lot. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably most proud of the way I've conducted myself over 23 years. Most of the time I've stayed out of the controversy. I never want to be the story. It makes me uncomfortable. Uh, this, this interview makes me uncomfortable. You're doing fine. <laughs> but most of the time I've tried to stay out of the fray. I've tried to be just the guy trying to report the facts. That's all I want to do. I just want to tell you a good story. Somewhere there's emotion involved, which is all we're trying to do is to tell you what the emotion of that story is. Um, to have a a few times where there's been some tears shed through some interviews or some laughs is is meant a lot to me and so those are the interviews you always remember um and that's probably what i'm i'm proud of just the fact that i was probably a pretty good reporter and didn't really didn't really realize it do you have any plans or are you just kind of i don't have any plans because i didn't know i needed a plan for this which is probably the wrong thing to say but i i i got to figure it out I, I really i have no idea um Change is good, they say, so I'll try and figure it out. Um, worried, absolutely terrified, yeah, but hopefully in the near future something will transpire. I will say there's been an outpouring of support from people in this, in this community, offering up certain things that I, I've been floored by and sat on my floor and cried over. Uh, the Ottawa Red Blacks have been phenomenal to me. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, the people of Ottawa have, have given me a great career. They've given me a chance to meet my wife and have my family here and, and I, I love the support of this community and I'll never forget it and the last few days have shown me how uh, touched they are with me and how they respect me, that'll never be forgotten.